and welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is the dynamic Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Every month for a pay-per-view, I'm going to give my own custom edited, manipulated SummerSlam dream card. Now, it's going to work within the confines of the WWE, the current roster, some of the story, you know, some of the matches I might keep as is because I am satisfied with the matches, but some I'm going to change around. Now I'm not going to add Austin and The Rock to all these, uh, you know, events because, well, you know, we can do that in a WWE video game. I'm talking realistic here. Within the WWE, what they're working with, their superstars, their storylines, their scripts, whatever it may be. So if this catches on and it gets enough likes and comments and feedback every month. I will do my own custom and edited WWE pay-per-view card as if I were booking things, as if I were in charge of the WWE. Um, so obviously with a few of these matches with my own custom card, a few storylines are going to change. Um, a few predicaments are going to be different, but you'll understand what I'm saying. So first match. Well, I don't know if this would be necessarily the match to kick things off, but it probably would be a good choice for an opener at SummerSlam if I were booking things. The WWE United States Championship on the line. John Cena defends against Cesaro versus Kevin Owens versus Randy Orton in a fatal four-way match for the illustrious United States Championship. And I think this match would be a hell of a way to get the, get the crowd roaring, get the crowd on their feet and anticipate anything. And I think in this match, we should have a championship uh, defense where we see a new champion. And I would have Cesaro come out as the new United States champion. And then in from there, we can have Randy Orton and Kevin Owens to feud. We can have Cesaro and Cena to start to feud. So there's a few things that can come out of this. You see, I'm not just coming up with matches. I'm also thinking long term. I'm thinking what can happen after the fact. Seeing if there could be something that be, can, 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 be, can be concocted uh, out of these matches. It's easy for me to say. Uh, but once again, here on Sean Vin Damon, I don't hit stop or re-record or rewind or anything like that. I just go with the flow and whether I F up or not, the subscribers and viewers can say, you F'd up. You F'd up. Up next, the WWE Intercontinental Championship would be on the line. It would be the defending reigning champion Ryback versus the ruthless Rusev in a steel cage match at SummerSlam on the WWE Network. Now, the reason I'm putting Rusev versus Ryback is because, yeah, we've seen these two against each other, but they've never had that long, drawn-out feud you know, because things were getting a little bit interesting, but everything, every time it seemed like the WWE was going to go with Rusev versus Ryback, they would just knock it off the radar, act like it never happened, act like it never existed. So I would have these two start a feud right there, Ryback versus Rusev. Up next, the Divas, and I have not forgot about the Divas, okay? The Divas tag team match I would keep as is because I am definitely liking what the WWE is doing with that, so I would not change the Divas match. I mean, if I were to change it, I, you know, the Divas Championship could be on the line, but eh, I'll keep it as is. I like it. The WWE Tag Team Championships would be on the line. Now, the original match was going to be the Wyatt Family versus, versus Bray, excuse me, the Wyatt Family versus Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose. If I were booking things, the WWE Tag Team Championships would be on the line. The prime time players consisting of Darren Young and Titus O'Neil versus Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose versus the Wyatt family in a triple threat tag team warfare match. I think that would be an excellent tag team match. But that's if I were booking things. You understand? Up next, a number one contenders match to determine a future WWE World Heavyweight Champion number one contender. It's a 10-man battle royal, ladies and gentlemen. It would feature Sheamus versus Kane versus the returning Dolph Ziggler versus Jack Swagger versus The Miz versus The Big Show versus Chris Jericho versus Mark Henry versus Rob Van Dam versus Triple H. Now, here's the thing. Triple H usually has something to do with SummerSlam. E either he's, an of he's officiating it, he's, he's refereeing it, or he has a match. This year, the rumor is he could be a, a, a referee 
in a match, but we don't know that to be true. We don't know that to be concrete. We don't know that to be penciled in in the plans. So, and you're probably wondering why the hell would Triple H be in this match? Well, because remember the rumors of Rollins and Triple H having a program, and this could kickstart it. And then the main event for all the marbles, and I know there's only six matches. I understand I'm cutting it by not having seven or eight matches, but I'm giving these matches enough time. I don't want to just go through the match, oh, five-minute match here, a ten-minute match here. I want to give these matches time. So the main event would consist of the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. It would be the champion, Seth Rollins, versus Brock Lesnar, versus The Undertaker, in a triple threat match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And as we all know, in triple threat matches, the champion does not have to be involved in the decision to lose their championship. So now, even though my Summer Sam card is almost similar as it concerns multi-man matches, it is still a little different. I'm going in a different direction uh, I, I, I'm thinking long term. I'm thinking about what feuds can develop out of this. So yeah, it's. I know. I know. The only negative thing about it is yeah, it's six matches. But you know what? I'm working within the confines of the WWE. I'm trying to work within the script. And just this. I, I, and personally, I, I like my card better. I mean, just the first match with Orton versus Cesaro versus Owens versus Cena. And, and, and here's the thing. That's the first time ever we've ever seen a match like that. The first time ever. And it would be the first time ever that we saw that WWE Tag Team Triple Threat match with the Primetime Players versus Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns versus the Wyatt Family. First time ever Triple Threat match with Rollins, Lesnar, and The Undertaker. There's just so many. Rusev versus Ryback. First time ever inside a steel cage. You understand what I'm trying to see? You see the direction. You see the flow. You see my consistency. You see the continuity. Yeah, that's... It's simple. It, it, it's simple. So I'm just having a little fun with this. If this gets enough likes and comments and opinions, I'll, I'll continue this. If you keep subscribing, I'll continue this every month with my own customized dream card for a pay-per-view. So if this gets enough views, you know, I'll, I'll continue it. But if not, I'll drop the segment just like I dropped my egg on the floor this morning. Your comments, your opinions, subscribe.